Circulation Aquaculture RAS, the environmental condition of rearing tank can be controlled in a facility. Therefore, the system has advantages that it is less susceptible to external factors such as red tides, fish diseases, heavy weather, and it is also high yielding. However, traditional RAS also has disadvantages of high initial costs, high running costs, and thus low profitability. For RAS, attempts to reduce costs while maintaining productivity have been made for a long time. Ultra-fine bubbles that are making innovations in various fields has been found to be a key to solve the problem. A closed recirculating aquaculture system, CRAS, using oxygenated ultra-fine bubbles. Now we will introduce the innovative system that we have evolved. This figure shows the system flow diagram. In the CRAS, rearing water is reusing by recirculating filtration, and additional water will be supplemented as needed to compensate for water evaporation. The definite characteristic of our system is using Aqua Nanox, an oxygenated ultrafine bubble generator for controlling DO level in the whole CRAS. Rearing water once passed through Aqua Nanox becomes highly oxygenated water containing oxygenated ultrafine bubbles with 20 mg per liter DO. Rearing water brought to a biofilter with effects of high concentration of oxygen and ultrafine bubbles activates nitrifying bacteria, maximizing the performance of the biofilter. Though a biofilter requires a large amount of DO, Aqua Nanox maintains dissolved oxygen content of rearing water, even after passing through the biofilter of above 10 mg per liter. Accordingly, it becomes possible to control the oxygen content throughout the system using only one oxygen supply source, not requiring oxygen supply to each rearing tank. Compared to traditional RAS, lower initial costs and running costs can be achieved because facilities such as an oxygen dissolver, carbon dioxide deaerator, suction unit, and ultraviolet sterilizer are not needed. Aqua Nanox makes it possible to control the oxygen content throughout the whole system using only one oxygen supply source. It also easily keeps high dissolved oxygen condition so fishes suffer no stress and accelerate their growth. Bactericidal effect of ultrafine bubbles inhibits the growth of bacteria in rearing water without any treatment for sterilization. Sterilization using electrolyzed water or ozone that is common sterilization methods involves risks. After sterilization using electrolyzed water, residual chlorine and oxidant that are toxic to fishes remain in water. Ozone sterilization also involves a risk of residual oxidant. Sterilization with ultrafine bubbles that uses only oxygen is a safe method that is free from these risks. Ultrafine bubbles have cleaning effect, making rearing tanks, channels, and piping resistant to dirt. Cleaning effect of ultrafine bubbles are also appreciated, for example, in pipe cleaning in food industrial plants. This effect reduces the frequency of large-scale cleaning operations for rearing tanks. Accordingly, it is possible to reduce stress to fishes and the number of workers. Ultrafine bubbles also have bacteriostatic effect to retard decay of excess feed and dead fishes in breeding water tanks. This prevents deterioration of water quality and bad odor. This table shows the result of bacteriological examination in CFU colony forming unit of rearing tank in Itulasu company using oxygen UFB. The bacterial count in rearing tank is limited to only 32 CFU. It is very scarce. Usually the bacterial count of fish rearing tank attains 10 to the 5th 6th power CFU. So we can clearly understand that UFB has the extremely wonderful bacteriostat activity. Does the ultrafine bubble really exist? 
This is a movie showing the generation of ultra-fine bubbles by using Aqua Nanox in an experimental facility. Aqua Nanox uses a static fluid mixer, the Raymond Nano Mixer, which is our patent technology. Oxygen and salt water are together passed through the mixer under pressure using a submerged pump, thereby generating ultra-fine bubbles. We analyze sample fluids thought to contain ultra-fine bubbles generated by Aqua Nanox using a nanoparticle analyzer nanosite. By illuminating ultra-fine bubbles with a laser light, scattered light of the bubbles can be observed microscopically. Substances in nanoscale are found to be moving slightly. This is called Brownian motion. The movie on the screen shows Brownian motion of the ultra-fine bubbles. According to the measurements resulted from the analysis of the ultrafine bubbles using nanosite, 200 million bubbles per milliliter of ultrafine bubbles with the average particle size of 167 nanometers were generated. This is a surprising number, indicating that only one milliliter of water contains 200 million bubbles in nanoscale. That is a fraction of a millionth of one millimeter. Ikulasu Corporation in Inoshima, Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. We, Ikulasu Corporation and Nanox, cooperatively developed a closed recirculating aquaculture system using oxygenated ultrafine bubbles. As of May 2014, we are culturing fishes in the aquaculture facility of Ikulasu for about eight months. Representative species are tiger puffer, scorpion fish, and black scraper. There have been no adverse effects, such as gas bubble disease and other fish disease. In addition, it is noteworthy that growth period has been reduced. In the present growth rate of fishes, it is expected that tiger puffer will reduce its growth time by 10 months, and scorpion fish and black scraper will reduce by 4 months. Of course, reducing growth period will give benefit to fish farmers suffering from profitability. As introduced so far, closed recirculating aquaculture system using oxygenated ultrafine bubbles allows high productivity and stable production. Comparing to sea-based aquaculture or other land-based aquaculture, it is possible to reduce costs significantly. This system is expected to be further applied to various fish species. In future, we hope to produce tilapia and catfish that are attracting attentions as edible fish resources in large quantities and fervently hope to contribute to solve one of the global issues that is the food problem.